Scott, Don and Jennifer especially, thank you for you guys, it's your third trip and uh, thanks for bringing these guys along and I'm sure we're going to have a good week, shoot straight and have a good time, cheers guys. Shoot straight and smart. Cheers guys, thank you. Yeah, yeah. 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 2023 hunting season. Uh, super excited. I've got a little bit of shakes going on. We've got Todd here, uh, Mr. Todd and, and Scott from Mountain Man Taxidermist. Uh, we've got seven days ahead of us. Um, so we're super excited. The weather looks awesome. We've had lots of rain. It's, it's nice and green. Um, this morning we're looking for black impala for Todd and uh, we just we spotted a very nice ram now so we're going to do a little bit of a stalk and see if we we can come across him. So. Um, let's have a good time and enjoy it. This is our, this is your third time yep. with us, Scott, and your second time, second Todd. So time for me, yes. it feels like we're hunting with friends. It's not even yeah, like it's right. a low pressure thing, you know. So yeah. it's, it's very nice, and uh, I'm sure we'll have a good time. Let's give it a go. Right, take your time, just on the shoulder, a little bit of a quartering shot, eh? You guys ready? Yep. Okay, that was a hit, good hit. That was a good hit, it sounded like a solid hit. Solid, yeah. That's just, um, I just saw one running out there. That's a hell of a nice ram though, it's a big boy. Oh, it's a good one. Oh, it's a beautiful ram. Beautiful ram. Yes, that is a dandy. Okay, Todd. So like I said, morning of day one and uh, spotted some, some black impala this morning. The first ram he saw was this ram actually. He was, he was with another group of about four, other, four or five other black impala and uh, we knew it from the start that this is the ram that we wanted. Uh, just works out that way. That's also the first one we saw. So we like... <laughs> First day, let's take our opportunity and uh, just a very nice start to the hunt. Uh, beautiful, beautiful black impala ram. So awesome. Well done, Todd. Congratulations. Thank you, well sir. done, man. Thank you. Okay, now he's in the middle of those three, Scott. He's in the middle. You got him? Yeah. 100 yards. Okay, that's the one. If he gives you a shot, you take him, okay? Good shot, Scott. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Good shooting. We found this beautiful, beautiful springback. Uh, just the perfect specimen to take. A um, little bit in age, which is always good, you know, definitely. Uh, you want to look at the older animals and uh, it's just a beautiful, beautiful springbok. So 
good shot with the old trusty 270 and uh, very happy. Thank you very much, Scott. Congratulations, man. Beautiful. And that also is your Springbok Slam. So now, well, you've shot the common, the black, the copper, the white, and now the Kalahari Springbok. So that's awesome. Well done. Good morning folks, we're up here in our northern concession. We got up here about half an hour ago and the plan is to go sit on some high points and glass and we're looking for red harder beasts this morning. So far we've seen one, uh, we'll see what the rest of the day has to hold. Just spotted a harder beast from over that side. We've got to cross through this pretty steep ravine here, but once we're onto this plateau, we've got the wind in our face and it might still be a long way off, but we'll give it a shot. Hopefully we've got some cover to work with. He looks like a very, very nice bull. Awesome. Brilliant shot, straight down. Okay. Ah. Yeah, he is a beauty. Oh. Check him out. Wow. Beautiful. Well, Chuck, here you have your beautiful harder beast. We've definitely worked hard for it today. We've climbed mountains, we've walked over plateaus, and it so happened we got on top of a little hill, started glassing, and these guys were 150 meters below us. You made a beautiful shot after waiting 10, 15 minutes for them to get up, they were bedded down. And uh, yeah, one shot kill, what more can you ask for? Boy, I'll tell you what, you know, my foot started getting to sleep. <laughs> Standing there waiting, waiting and waiting. We called them, we threw rocks at them, yeah. they didn't want to move. They were tired, but uh, no, it was beautiful. You, beautiful. Can, you can be very, very happy with this hard yeah. He's going to look great on your wall. Thank you for setting me up with that. Congrats, man. Awesome, thank you.
came to the mountains this morning. We're after Clip Springer. We're gonna be glassing up into these rocks. At first I thought he might be worn down and the bottom part of his um, of his horns were like secondary growth but then the longer I looked at him I could see it was like soft whiteness yeah. so it's probably about a three inch three and a half inch ram which is not the right one to take so Through the shoulders. Come on, boy. Flip over. Come on, boy. I think we'll get him. Just give him a moment. Just give him some time. Didn't make it easy on ourselves. <laughs> I think we got him, Scott. He whacked him that shot. Eh? He whacked him. I think he shot him a little bit back, which is fine. He just went to go lay down behind that bush there. I think what we'll do now is we'll just give him two or three minutes, okay. a little bit more, and then I'll just have Moses walk there with the dog, okay. and uh, I think we should have him. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, my friend. Well done. Woo! Jeez, that clip you made us work. Awesome to shoot single ram, to shoot a single ram like that. Very nice. Moses at the moment, he's walking down. I don't know if you can see him in the background. He's walking down with Bongo and uh, to, to, to go and retrieve him, so... Within the next couple of minutes, we should have an answer on that clippy, but he's bedded down. Uh, it looked like a good shot, so I think we should have one. So a beautiful valley, as you can see in the background. We've been up here the whole morning, so... It's like yeah. Adam Moses, a beer. Huh? <laughs> awesome job. <laughs> Scott, this will definitely go down as one of the most memorable hunts I've had in a long time. It was unbelievable. It was such a challenge and uh, it's now 10 past 4 and uh, we shot this clip spring at 11.20 and it took us 3 or 4 hours to get down the mountain. Uh, we had some issues up in the mountain um, but yeah, just a magnificent clip spring, a beautiful ram. Uh, Scott made a good shot. It was in a difficult position so I'm just very happy. Um, Beautiful clippy. Well done Scott, congratulations. Thank you. Listen to him just run over trees. Okay, so this is the morning of day four. Um, 
This morning we are after Blue Diker. Um, it's quite about two years ago we were in the same area for Caracal and uh, a beautiful area, um, very green lush area. In the background uh, you've got the ocean in the background so maybe a bit of fishing tomorrow we'll see. <laughs> but uh, we're here for Blue Diker so excited. In this area we have a lot of pepper ticks so especially in your, from your knees down you need a bit of this. Okay so these are all of this is at this blind. Okay, okay, that's a young geese ram. That's just a big female. Oh, is it a female? There's a ram. Yeah. And the one in the back. Sometimes there's two females, sometimes there's a younger male and a male. Okay, so for the blue diker we use a shotgun. Um, just because it's such a small animal and the, there's a lot of uh, mo uh, a small margin for error. So a shotgun is the best. And uh, we've got some buckshot that we're going to use. So um, it's the best thing to use for blue diker. We sat in the blind for Blue Diker and uh, probably a minute and a half and this beautiful, beautiful Blue Diker ram came in. Uh, about two inch ram, fully mature ram. Uh, you can see the ridges on the horns here. Scott made a perfect shot, Blue Diker dropped and uh, just an unbelievable day and uh, something to remember for a long time. Yeah, Blue Diker is your, your smallest antelope in Africa. Yeah, so just uh, very happy, very happy Scott, good job. Um, might have seemed easy but we've we've put in a lot of time for these blue diker and just a beautiful animal well done thank you good job Okay, so day six today. Uh, yesterday we had a bit of a relaxing day, traveling back north uh, to the main lodge. At the moment we're about an hour north um, of our main lodge and uh, looking for water buck today, uh, possibly a zebra or two. Beautiful area here in the mountains, just untouched and uh, great conditions. I'm sure the animals are looking beautiful. So at the moment we're just gonna take a little walk down the road here uh, and see maybe we bump into a water buck or a zebra. So let's see, let's see how it goes. Okay, so we just spotted, or actually Moses spotted a herd of zebra. Just above here, there's a dam there, and there's quite a bit of zebra there, and there's some water bug there as well. So the plan is now to take a little walk up here, just walk up the road slowly, and um, hopefully the zebra will still be in the area, and we'll try and get a shot at one. Okay. Do you see that bull, Todd? 
is a bull standing on that damn wall there. Let's see if we can get closer and get a shot. Stick behind me. Guys, to an absolutely amazing seven days. Thank you very much to each and every one of you. Um, it's been amazing. Everybody, everybody around the table. Thank you, Justin, Chuck, Trey, all of the guys on this side. Amber, Mr. Todd, Scott, Jennifer, thank you very much for everything. Lisa, thank you very much. It was awesome. We appreciate it. Thank you so much. Reload, reload, reload. Just get on him in the back. Really. Oh, running up. Ah, uh, he's just going down, Todd. He's going down, my friend. Don't shoot him again. Wobbling, wobbling, head wobbling. Ah, uh, come on, boy. Todd. Well right. done. Beautiful job. It's loaded. Good shooting, man. That's excellent, excellent shooting. I did a number on that zebra. Yeah. Well done. Beautiful, beautiful zebra that. Did Thank you. See you. That? He's got like thick, thick, thick yeah. black stripes. Well done. Back on track. Good job. Last thing I saw was the triangle. <laughs> <laughs> you looked for the triangle. Yeah. Oh, here we go. <laughs> Well done, Todd. Thank that you. is a beautiful stallion. Beautiful stallion. Todd, so it's uh, day number seven today, and um, uh, we're standing with a beautiful, beautiful zebra stallion. This specific zebra has got beautiful markings on it. You can see it's got thick, thick uh, black stripes, which is very impressive. Um, it's, a, it's just a beautiful animal to take, and perfect shooting. It ran about 20 yards, and uh, couldn't be proud of you, man. Well done. All Congratulations. Right. Thank you, sir. We had about three or four failed stalks so far. 
Uh, they're pretty skittish up in the mountain. It's so open, so they see you a long ways, and the wind's kind of swirling as well. But uh, it's 11 o'clock, so we still have lots of time. So they just ran up the mountain. We're just going to take a road up the mountain and see if we maybe have a shot at the top there. Okay, just reload. It gives you another shot. Woof. <laughs> How many times do you want to shoot him on the shoulder? <laughs> Those are tough, tough, tough animals, eh? Tough, tough, tough boys. I think everybody underestimates zebras. <laughs> okay, Scott, so day seven, and we are sitting here with a beautiful zebra stallion. It definitely gave us a run for our money. Um, was not an easy hunt, and we got on a herd of eight zebra stallions. And um, this is the one that we picked at the end of the day and just an absolute stud. So extremely happy about that. Good shooting. I see there's a couple of shoulder shots on this side. And uh, beautiful, beautiful zebra. Well done. Congratulations. Kevin and Gwen, Samantha, Chelsea, and the two boys. Did I miss anybody? That's it. We are excited for the... Kevin! Kevin. I did say Kevin. <laughs> uh, excited for the next seven days. Thank you very much for joining us. Um, uh, we're excited and I hope you'll have a, have a good time here with us. Uh, cheers. We will. Yeah. Cheers. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Cheers.
leg where that brown line disappears. That's where you're going to put your crosser and squeeze that trigger. Good. Yeah, he did. You smoked him. Oh, no, he's still up in there. Oh, he's going to go down. You smoked him. Well done, Kevin. Well done, man. You smoked him. <laughs> Top class. Thank you, thank you. Beautiful, Ram. So, Logan, did you hear that? He is pretty, ain't he? Yeah. He is beautiful. Yeah. Beautiful white face, and that deep chocolate color. Very nice old male. See how the ridges are quite yeah. worn. Bases are rock hard. And then the way he kind of sweeps back here. Yeah. That's also a good sign of age. When, generally when a springbok gets to that point where he starts to really sweep back on this, on this front bend, then it's an old springbok. Come and see something interesting here. So if this is called a pronk. So if you put your hand and you rub there, and you smell that. What oh. do you smell? Oh, Smells like is. sweet. Yeah. yeah. That's like a scent land that they have. Um, smells like cotton candy. Yeah, that's nice too. Pretty cool, Logan. See, what you've got to always be careful of, especially when you have a very sharp knife, is you don't want to cut through the skin. You just want to cut that white stuff. Todd, so the last few days we've had a couple of relaxing days, and uh, but today we're in a beautiful valley here, um, probably about 30 minutes from the lodge, and uh, we're looking for, for Nyala. Uh, Roger said two days ago he saw a very, very nice bull here, but as you can see the terrain is very very thick so we're just going to spend yeah. a couple of hours here and uh, hopefully something pops out we'll see there's some mountain rebuck in this mountain as well so oh, yeah, it's just beautiful eh? it's just like untouched up in these mountains so we'll see. I saw a youngish bull, but he ran off. Like 20 minutes later, another bull appeared. So he's standing up on this ridge. Looks like a very nice bull. His tips are spreading out. He's got nice uh, white tips. Let's go down here, and it's going to be tight because it's up against that ridge. So let's try and probably going to be like a 250 yard shot. Okay. You can see your shoulder whenever you're ready, bud. Smacked him, dropped him, dropped him, just reload, just reload. I think he got in the toddy, he's kicking around quite a lot there. Still, no, no kicking anymore. It was way better once he moved just a tiny bit. Yeah, yeah. That's a magnificent pinata, that, and it's an old bull as well. He's on his own. He's got no females with him. Yeah. I think his horns might be worn a little bit, but he's flaring like this. It was like just one of those. You see it. Get it. Like a player now. <laughs> Ok, 
Hey Todd, what an amazing in your line. This is an absolutely beautiful bull. Um, character wise, he's got everything. He's got the tips flaring out, he's got the white tips, his cape is in excellent condition. It's just one of those bulls you never think, you don't think twice. It's just an absolutely beautiful bull. So, Todd made a nice shot at uh, 325 and uh, dropped him in his tracks, and that's the end of the story. So, good job, man. Well done. All right, thank you. Sweet. There he's got it on that point of that shoulder, if you feel comfortable. Good shot. Just reload for me there. Good shot. Perfect. There he went. Good job. There he went. Good job. There he went. They're very tough, eh? They are so tough, these things. Three. Great job. What a beautiful sable. Cool, huh, boy? Yeah, cool. You like that? Yes, that is an awesome bull, eh? Look at that. Yes, what a bull. Well done. What a beautiful bull. Good job. Good eye. Great shooting. Good well eye. Well done, man. Well done. That's a phenomenal, phenomenal sable bull. He's a special, special sable. Very wide, really good length. And there we are. We came across him this afternoon. After much, uh, much de deliberation, we decided this was the one to take. And a great shot at 320 yards, he went over the little rise, put another final shot into him and here he is. Well done, congratulations. You got him man. He's going down. Karanga Wachuma! <laughs> Good job, boy! Good job! Great job, man! You smoked him! How was that? That's your first animal, dude!
Good job, mister. <laughs> He's down. Well done. For the count. Look at that, man. Wow, Pretty that cool, huh? Look at this. His, his hair is going up now. So that's just as they go. Then this, this stands up for the last time. Come and smell this. So take your hand and rub it in there and then you can smell it. You gotta rub it right down in the bottom there. Smell that. What do you smell? Graham crackers. Yeah? <laughs> Good job. That what a beautiful springbok, man. Yeah. You ready? Welcome to the hunting, the African hunting club. Okay. Good job, buddy. Well done. <laughs> <laughs> nice job. <laughs> well done, Logan. That's awesome, man. This morning, first thing, might have been the first 20 minutes, we spotted some impala here in the bottom, so. Let's just take a little walk and see what we can see. I'm sure there's a ram there for us. Okay. They were there 30 seconds ago. Maybe they're in the left or just in the right. Let's just go here. They're right here below us, like 150 yards. You can see their tails wagging. But they're in that thick stuff. I don't know if they're gonna come out, you know. We can either wait here a little bit or we can go and try and sneak in there. Okay, he's coming out of that bush on the left hand side. If you give you a shoulder, you take him. Just wait, just wait. He's gonna give you a shoulder now, just wait. Okay. Good shot, good shot. Good shot, Scott. He's not moving, I just see some white tail waving there. Well done. Good shooting there, Scott. Good clean shooting. Well done. Just a stunning, stunning Impala. Beautiful ram, well done. Congratulations, man. And like I said, beautiful cape on him still, eh? Okay, Scott, so this morning Impala was on the cards and it didn't take us long to, um, to get on a nice herd of Impala. Eventually, uh, we saw this ram, which is perfect ram to take. Old, old, old ram. Uh, got beautiful set of horns on him, beautiful cape on him still. Uh, just the perfect ram to take. And uh, we're in a beautiful area today. I think we're going to enjoy it. And um, yeah, just uh, all around very, very happy with this Impala. Well done. Good job. Got him. It's a big black impala. Well done, Kevin. Good dog. Oh, that's a nice one. Isn't it? That really is. That's so worth the wait, man. Yeah. Well done. Congratulations. That's awesome. Spotted this guy, and he's just an absolute brute of a black impala. So, a quick, great shot, and well done, Kevin. Congratulations on a top class animal. 
Thank you. Thank you for putting me on him. We're out in the mountains just east of the, of the lodge today. We're looking for kudu, nice and early. Got some deep canyons. We're just going to sit here and glass. The wind is in our favor and we'll see what comes out. Well, Sam, we've just had a really good braai in the bush. Had some burrowbush rolls for lunch, feeling refreshed. We saw a massive herd of kudu this morning with seven or eight bulls in it. So we can head back up onto a little ridge, sit down, and hopefully they come out in the late afternoon sun. Sounds good. Good hit, brilliant hit. Ah, uh, he's, he's not going far. There he goes. Ah, uh, he's gonna fall right there. There he goes. 341 yards. Huh? 341 yards. Brilliant shot. Well, Sam, here you have it, a beautiful East Cape kudu bull, 341 yards. I mean, you can't ask for more. Oh, he's beautiful. He really is. Check out the character. He's all cracked up here. He's got ivory tips. He's got those lovely ivory tips that we always look for in a bull. And I'm trying to see, I mean, that is textbook. Okay, so well, we got up bright and early for this kudu bull this morning. First light, we got on, onto some bulls for quite a while. We did a two mile stalk and got busted, unfortunately. Sat down, had a bit of lunch, rested up, and got back out this evening and out stepped this beautiful old kudu bull. And you made a beautiful 341 yard shot and you didn't go 40 yards. Unfortunately, toppled into this ditch, but that's all part of hunting. Well done. Thank you. Today we're hunting for Nyala. The weather is not ideal. Um, it's windy, very windy for Nyala, but we already spotted two Nyala um, in the bottom, so they'll be out of the wind. So yeah, it'll make, um, make a nice hunt for us today. So let's see what we can do. It sounded like a good, it sounded solid, it sounded like bone. I saw the tail wagging as well. Let's just mark that spot. Let's take a walk. That is the one we wanted. This is the one you take, you know, this is the perfect one. You can see it's got some character in the face here. A little bit of age showing. Oh, hell of a shot, Scott. Hell of a shot. Scott, so this morning our plan was Nyala, Nyala female uh, more specifically, and uh, we spotted a group of females. We did a nice stalk down the mountain, 
and then uh, they actually busted us but um, they ran about 50 yards and a few of them stopped and we were quick enough to get a shot beautiful in yala female uh, old lady uh, still got a very nice cape on her you can see the colors more bright orange colors with the stripes and the spots so i'm sure it'll be a it'll be a beautiful mount with your with your nyala bull and uh, well done congratulations thank you mama thank you very much god appreciate it Yeah, we're in a beautiful area in the northern eastern Cape, close to Middleburg. Um, as you can see in the background, lots of grass, open plains. Uh, looking for uh, golden wildebeest this morning. Uh, weather's nice. Um, we have an idea where they might be this morning. Um, so we're just going to walk over this ridge and see if they in that area that we're looking after. So, yeah, that's about it. Uh, let's have a good day and enjoy it. Yeah. Yeah. There's almost no wind, I wouldn't take much for wind. Just want him to turn broadside, okay. A little bit of a quartering shot, eh? I'll put the crosshairs just on his right leg. Just squeeze it nicely, okay. Okay, good hit. We got him now, just keep an eye on him. Look at that bull. That is an amazing wildebeest. Look at that. Beautiful bull. Big old bosses on him. Just a nice wide bull as well. He's definitely got some character. You see the broken horns here. And then obviously a beautiful cape on him as well. Very nice bull. And, uh, well done. Last night Jennifer came to me and said, uh, I think we must give you a birthday present. So here it is. Uh, unbelievable uh, golden wildebeest bull came out this morning uh, to the northeastern Cape. Beautiful area, nice and green grass. And you can see the wildebeest are in amazing condition up here as well. Good shot. The first shot was a perfect shot. We got another shot on him and uh, got him down. So very happy. Congratulations, beautiful bull. Thank you. Well done. epitome of a blue eland bull. He looks like a big one. But that's, a, that's a big boy, that. That's a big boy. So let's see, see if we can get up there. Plan A never works, works to plan. Plan B sometimes, plan C most of the time. So let's just head up. Okay. Just wait for him to go over. That was plan A. It didn't work. <laughs> now we got a plan B.
That is a grand, grand old Is event. it? Yeah. yeah. It's top class. Okay, let's work our way over there slowly. Yeah. What a beautiful bull. Look at that. Yeah. Oh, that's just skin. Yeah, it's just skin. See that? See, that's it. That's like a scent, scent gland. He's probably easy 10, 10 to 12 years. You can see he's, he started working down his horns. Yeah. So those tips, they've started working down. The ridges are also starting to work down. Yeah. Both of them are. Yeah, yeah. So he's at that point where He's never going to get any longer. He's just going to wear these tips, wear these tips, wear these tips. And sometimes they get to about there. Oh. Wear them. What a stud. And we got an unbelievable Elam bull up in the mountains. This is probably one of my favorite places to come and hunt, and especially these guys. You know, these big old bulls, there's just something about them that keeps your blood, you know, just at a certain level. So, congratulations, my friend. Thank you so much for the opportunity. A great hunt, the hike, everything. Um, you've been absolutely great here. Sun Africa, I would recommend it to any and all. It's a hell of an opportunity and experience of a lifetime.